Chogyal Namkai Nobu first came to Australia in January 1985 and over the coming years a growing number of dedicated students became committed to his Dzogchen teachings and finding suitable land on which to establish a permanent teaching centre in Australia. Eventually land was found at the foot of Mount Gulaga near Tilba Tilba in New South Wales from a dream Ribshay had had about land with large rocks. Jean McIntosh investigated and found woodlands at the end of Mount Gulaga with a hundred acres of temperate forest, a cleared central saddle and a creek. At the top of the mountain climb were spectacular views of the Sapphire Coast. Rinpoche first visited this land in April 1994. During the local Hubara retreat, people came for a picnic on the land and met the owner, Mel Dibden. Land in Australia is for creating a job. The land was purchased in October 1994. To have a gompa, a large shed was needed. So with the help of local timber builders and community volunteers, it was constructed using local timber tree trunks for columns and beams. A concrete water tank was also installed. Cranes were needed to lift them into the holes in the rocky ground cut out with jackhammers. Nick Dimden trimmed the beams with his chainsaw like using a butter knife. A hessian cloth and compressed straw panels were used for the ceiling under a corrugated iron roof. In time for the first Yanchi Yoga retreat with Fabio Antrico. A house was needed for Rinpoche, so volunteers came from around the world to build a two-story steel and timber frame designed by Trevor King. It took about two months to finish building the frame. Rinpoche visited and trod the boards. Eventually the house was finished by local builder Peter Hellman. For the first retreat in December 1995, everything had to be prepared. The gompa walls were old canvas tarpaulins and the earth floor was covered in old carpets. Grit Fair catered for everyone with her Skydance Cafe caravan. Dennis Pont installed solar panels for electric power for recording membership. This is first retreat here in, in Nanjaga land. We have an idea for creating a gar here in Australia. Introducing nature of mind. Local Aboriginal dancers from Nowra, led by Bobby McLeod, a Ewan and Monaro man, performed traditional dances to the sounds of didgeridoo and clapsticks. Work continued finishing off all the internal trades needed inside the house, ready for Rinpoche's next visit at Losa, February 1997. Presents there are two kinds. Relaxation is the best practice. <laughs> that is called teacher. It's <laughs> in a time, bodies, our energy. In 1998 and 99, roadworks, car parks, level campsites, water supplies, and the diesel solar power facilities were built. To this retreat. On New Year's Eve of the 2000 millennium, everyone gathered in the Gompa with Rinpoche. Good evening, everybody. Oh, 601 people have taken Santi Mahasanga first level training. The first level one teacher training at Namchoka. Guru Yoga, it means we are the... We had some ignorance problem. <laughs> we finished the floor in the Gompa in uh, about November 2002 and then painted the mandala. We are being aware. More relaxed energy, so. Adriana Del Borgo taught the dance of the Song of the Vajra. A new toilet block was built near the Gompa, as well as showers and hot water service. The original bush kitchen is a heritage item. For this retreat, 
That is important. Happy Easter holidays, everybody. Bye bye. bye bye. It was donated by Mark Fulton by Peter Hellman, who also built the Dark Retreat Cabin. Designed by Tony Laurent using straw bale construction. A Mandarava retreat was held in March 2005. Dada is, is ritual area. The Gompa Garden design and landscaping was done by Christine Mackay. The stone wall terracing was built by Bob Gardner. Dark Retreat Cabin was finished in 1995 and has a light retreat room looking to the ocean. Many walking tracks have been cleared around the property to enjoy the vistas. January 2006, a dance practice retreat was opened. SMS retreat led by Elise Stutchbury. Rinpoche has returned to Namuga for retreats in 2009, 11 and 12 as part of his National Teaching Tours of Australia. A special memorial service was held for Jean McIntosh, who discovered the Namgyalgal land and worked tirelessly for its development and all that has been established there. Namgyalgal South continues to hold major retreats, provide SMS scholarship opportunities, and is available for hire for retreats and conferences, etc., for all interested organisations.